everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another episode of Big Dog Eats. Now normally Jake always does our intros, uh, this time I wanted to kind of do it myself just to let you guys know we are a month in on the channel now, we're approaching uh, almost 100 subscribers so I just want to say thank you. Thank you very much to our subscribers for watching our videos and helping our channel grow and I just wanted to say I really appreciate it. All right, so for this week's cook, we're gonna go ahead and ditch the chicken and ditch the pig. We're coming back to the cow. Today, we are making a New York strip roast. All right, big dog. So go ahead and tell us exactly what we're getting ourselves into here. Well, what we're getting ourselves into is this amazing New York strip loin I just bought at the grocery that store. thing is a thick one. <laughs> it is awesome. Now, it is a little too big to make the whole roast because we only have a few people here at the house. So we're gonna go ahead and before we actually season it and put it in the oven, we're gonna go ahead and cut it up, make a few steaks out of it, and then, then the result will be the roast. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this thing up into some steaks. Once I have that done, we'll go ahead and get the roast seasoned and in the oven. Okay, I have everything trimmed out. Let's see what we've got. All right, so these are the first, the ends of the meat. There's just two little half inch steaks. We're gonna do something pretty amazing with these in a later video. Then over here, I've got my two New York strips that I cut, nice and thick. Oh yeah, them things are darn thick. Yeah. Look at them things. It's got a decent marbling in it as well. This is an Angus beef, so it's gonna be really, really tasty. So I'm really excited about these. Then of course, we have the star of this show, which is our roast. So this is a nice, thick. Oh, hold on, let me get a little close up of oh, that. Oh, you got it, man. Oh yeah. Shadow's kind of messing with the film, but. That thing is beautiful. Yeah, it's gonna be a nice, nice chunk of meat to cook up in the oven. And it's probably got some weight to it, it as well. It does. That's, I could probably make at least two more good steaks out of this, but I figured, you know what, let's do a roast. It's, you know, the end of the year, the new year's coming up, let's yeah. make something really awesome. Not, a nice little change of pace. Absolutely. So basically what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna go ahead and season this with salt, pepper, garlic powder, and we'll get it ready for the, uh, for the oven. All right, let's get it. All right. Okay, it is time to get this roast in the oven. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do this very similar to that Denver steak we cooked in a previous video. We're gonna reverse sear this thing. We're gonna go ahead and get this thing in the oven, heat it up until it's at 118 degrees. We'll then pull it, let it rest, and then sear it, and that'll get us right into that perfect medium rare. Ooh, ooh, ooh that sounds good. And great, now one other thing I wanna let you guys know. We spent the last probably 20 minutes looking for my roasting pan. Can't find it, don't know what happened to it. So, we have to make a makeshift roasting pan. It's not so bad because I wanna show you guys how to do this. All right, so basically what I've got is this deep pan and a cooling rack and I just put it right on there like that. Just get the meat right on top. Instant, instant roasting pan. So let's go ahead and get this thing in the oven. We've got 
got the roast pulled out of the oven. Gonna let it rest for about 15 minutes, then we're gonna sear it. Now one of the great things about searing a roast is that you just stick it back in the oven. You don't use a pan, you know, like a cast iron skillet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna crank that oven up to 500 degrees. Once the meat has rested, we'll toss that thing in for about a quick 10 minute sear and then it'll be ready to eat. Oh yeah, I'm ready for it. I can't wait, man. This is gonna be amazing. Well, I'll tell you what, the meat is good enough as a steak. Mm -hmm. So I can't imagine what it's going to be like as an actual roast. Well, plus with the reverse sear method, it should be a little bit better in the fact that you won't have that quarter of an inch of gray. It should be uh, pink pretty much throughout the entire roast. So I'm pretty excited to see how it looks. Yeah, it same back. here. Same too. Let's get at it. All right, let's get it. All right, we are ready to go ahead and cut into this. Before I do, I wanna go over something about the reverse sear. When I uh, heated this up to 118 degrees and pulled it out of the oven, the reason I did that is because when we put it back into sear, it would bring it up to temp. Check it out. See, we are already in the rare to medium rare range on our temperature. So we are ready to cut into this and chow down. What do you think? I'll tell you one thing. That was one smoky oven when we were pulling that out. But it smelled dang good. That's what happens when you use a 500 degree oven to sear a piece of meat. Yeah. It produces quite a bit of smoke. And that's also why I bet the oven has that little feature where it has the, uh, the steam just leaking out from it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is, that's pretty cool as well. But Absolutely. Yeah. So let's go ahead and cut into this and see how it looks. All right. All right, let's cut into this meat and see how it looks. You can hear the crunch. I know, that's from the crust. Oh, oh, oh look at that thing. She's I'm going to go ahead and put another cut into it right now. She is a beaut. Oh, yeah, the juices are just pouring out of this thing. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. Let me get a close-up of that. Look at the juice that's just coming out of that thing. It's ridiculous. Look at that river. Hold on. Look at this. Look at this, guys. Just a river of juices. Absolutely perfectly cooked. And then look at this. Check this out. Got a little au jus. Just go ahead and throw a little bit on. And there we go. Ready to go? Ready to eat? <laughs> I'm excited! It looks pretty appetizing. Oh, I mean, man. I can't lie. New York Strip Roasts. I can't wait to try this stuff. <laughs> Me neither, man. Right, it looks so incredible. I'm, I'm going in right now. The amount of juices is it's just ridiculous. ridiculous. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Mm. What I love about this roast, it's extremely flavorful. It's very tender. If you notice as I was cutting it, I didn't hardly have to use any force whatsoever. This thing is super, super tender. The juices are just off the hook. It's just so flavorful and juicy. It's just amazing. <laughs> it, looks, uh, it looks amazing, man. 
All right, now, hold on mm. now. Let me get some of that now before you eat all of it. It's just like, it's almost just like prime rib. It is so really amazing. Let me just get one more and then I'll, we'll switch. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Nothing better than really well cooked beef. That, I can just say that right now. Uh, correction, well cooked, not well done, right? We don't do well done well, in this kitchen. Well, obviously it's not well done. Yeah, <laughs> well, we do not do the well done in this kitchen. All right, let's 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 get you to try some of this out, buddy. All right. All right, let's try this stuff. Okay. Take a couple pieces. Oh, yeah. Mmm. 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 What do you think? Describe it. What I think is, I need a second bite before I can give an accurate description. Ooh. Okay. Mm-hmm. 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 Everybody wants to know. Cool knife, by the way. That's Pretty not a knife, knife, that's a fork. Kind of a knife. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. Um, super delicious. It, it, it's just like a normal New York strip, but like a different variant. I'd say it's a little more juicy because of that reverse sear. Um, I mean... It, what about it, the tenderness? It. The tenderness, definitely there. Um, kind of similar to like a sous vide steak tenderness almost. How it's just consistent mm. the whole way through. Mm -hmm. But yeah, mm -hmm. killed it. All right, awesome. All right, it is time for the last member of the Big Dog Eats crew to try this out and see what he thinks. Last, but definitely not least. There you go, buddy. Enjoy it. I think that's definitely going to be a turbo approved item as well. Yeah, I think that's safe to say that uh, he's not going to be calling the manager over this. So that's going to pretty much wrap up today's video. Thank you so much for watching. We really appreciate it. I was really happy about the reverse sear effect and how tender it made this roast. What do you think, Jacob? Oh, it was an absolutely amazing dish and uh, definitely a, a nice different take on a New York strip. Yeah, it was really, I mean, it is amazing. It really is incredible. But listen, with that being said, we've got a couple of other people that want to try this uh, roast. So we're going to go ahead and bolt, get out of here. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. If you like the content, click on the notification bell. Well, we're gonna get out of here. See ya!